What is going on? It is Drew back with another article that I found this week that I thought that you might find a little interesting. And to continue to see more uh, thoughts and opinions about these articles that I find, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, on Inside Higher Ed, uh, a few days ago, I came across an article about DeUville College, which is a private institution in Buffalo, New York. Now, they announced that they are moving all of their staff schedules to a four-day, 32-hour work week with no drop in benefits or pay. And this is something that they've been thinking about for a while because we've witnessed there is staff and faculty burnout all across the country within higher education. And the school had to do something similar during 2020 when everyone had to go remote because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So they thought, well, we did see a bit of a better work-life balance with our staff in 2020. And we did see that they kind of enjoyed the flexibility in working remote and potentially having some time back. So what they decided is, let's experiment with this. Let's see for the next six months, what does a four day, 32 hour work week look like for our staff and the college's operations? So what they want, the, they want the staff to have that extra day just to completely recharge and pursue stuff outside of work and just have a more fulfilling uh, life and something that's more enjoyable, such as a hobby. And they also found that by switching this, their normal operating hours were 8 to 4.30, or I think 7, 7 or 8 a.m. to 4.30. But to make sure that everyone was fitting into that 32-hour schedule, they've now expanded their evening hours to 5 o'clock. And they found that we are now offering an extra half-hour window for our evening students to be able to come in and work face-to-face -face with our staff members to help with any resources that they may be looking for for or if they have any questions. Now, Higher Ed Dive also covered this as well, and I will put links to both of the articles down below in the description. And this change has been applauded by many uh, across the country as something that may be long overdue. On the flip side, however, with the shift to the 32 hours and getting a full day back, the college is expecting the staff to take extra time to pursue professional development opportunities. And this is something that they've already witnessed with much enthusiasm with a lot of staff pursuing data analytics, for example, um, in their de respective departments, which is something that they hadn't seen before. They are also wanting their staff to be cross-trained in multiple departments. Um, my guess is to ensure complete coverage um, as there begins to be a little bit of staggering with the staff on campus. Um, and so they will reevaluate this in six months and see where to go from there. I also found it was interesting that the faculty are applauding this and they are saying that they would like a 32 hour work week as well. And I find this interesting because most faculty schedules aren't typically the Monday through Friday eight to five. So I'm curious to see what they would suggest as what would be a benefit to that. How would that work? Um, you know, if you are doing research, if you're being funded by a grant, how do those hours work? How would you shift that around? Um, I think faculty and staff need this. I think they need something similar to this if it's not tenable um, or if it's not scalable, there needs to be some sort of improvement to that balance. But those are just my thoughts. I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Staff, what do you think? Do you want a four day work week or faculty? What would a four day work week look like for you? How would both of you, staff and faculty, manage this? What would you do in your departments? How, how do you see that unfolding in your departments? And do you see this being a concern with offering services to your students? Or do you see no drop off at all? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So again, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.